What's going on guys? It's your boy Chili. Welcome back for another video. Today I got something special for you guys. We have the Spring 2023 Anime Awards. Pop it up, pop it up. Now, but before we get into it, shout out to the Otaku Academy. Y'all peep this jersey right here. The Ace. Look at this. Otaku Academy. Oh, wow. Well, I'm about to turn around in the chair with the, with the whole chair back blocking. Oh, the Ace jersey. If y'all don't have any Otaku Academy merch, you need to go get yourself some. You can use code CHILLINDO with three E's. I know it's annoying, but if you use that at checkout, you get 15% off and you help your boy out. But it's time to get into it. So rather than give you my review of all 25 plus anime that I watched in the spring season, I'm an idiot, I know. Whatever, I do it to myself every year. Regardless, I decided let's do something different. So we're gonna throw it into an award show. I chose about seven categories that I think fit a plethora of shows that came out in the spring season. So let's get into them. And let me preface this. One, Vinland Saga is a winter 2023 show. I know it finished in the spring, but it is a winter 2023 show. Otherwise, Vinland Saga might sweep the entire award show. That would be no fun. Two, I did not finish Demon Slayer season three. I am way behind. I think I watched like four episodes. I let the rest of the build up because it is something I want to binge when I get the opportunity to binge it. But as you can probably guess, I am watching like 30 summer shows right now. So I'll get to it when I can get to it. Mm. Let me preface this as well by saying that these are my opinions, solely my opinions. I'm not going off of any forums, no message boards, no voting, nothing like that. These are entirely my opinions. You do not have to agree with me 100%, but these are my thoughts. So to start off, I think we'll jump into the best comedy category because I think there were a decent amount of shows that had a good amount of comedy in them and definitely had the comedy genre tag to it. But I think there was a good amount of shows enough to really make it something that was competitive. So with that being said, my best comedy of the season, it was really a no brainer for me. I have to give it to Mashal. <laughs> Mashal was really the perfect combination of One Punch Man, Psyche K, and Harry Potter all mashed together into this ridiculous show that was just absolutely hilarious to watch. Mash is an incredibly dense character, but everything he does is freaking hilarious. And he ends up joining together with this group of people that is just a motley crew of insane individuals. As far as comedy goes for this season, I think this show stood far and above everything else that came out in the spring. I would say the next closest thing would probably be the Konosuba Megamine spinoff, but even that had moments that were really slow for me and the comedy was hit or miss. I think this show is a must watch for anybody that just wants a ridiculous show to laugh their ass off to. So with that being said, Mashal is the winner of the best comedy of spring 2023. <laughs> Next up, we have my favorite genre, the best romance. Wow. This one was tough. Tough. Like, I love anything with romance in it. Sign me up. I'm all about it. This one was really, really tough for me. We had so many great romance come out this season. Insomniacs after school, how Reliana ended up at the Duke's mansion. The galaxy next door wasn't the greatest, but it was a romance. Skip and Loafer, I think it's technically a romance. It didn't really have much in there, but... Regardless, Yamada Kun at level 99999. <clears throat> Finally got that out. But this was a really tough category for me. But as the season went on, I think there was just one romance show that stood out far and above everything else. And that one is Insomniacs After School. I think Insomniacs After School was the perfect combination of a slice of life and a romance about these two kids that suffer from the same thing, that being insomnia, and how they come together and blossom as first off as friends and then blossom into having just an incredibly cute and impactful, relation re impactful relationship the way they helped each other grow and 
found somebody that understood them on another level that nobody else did. I think everything about the show from the main two characters to the side characters, to the visuals, to the music, every moment was captured so perfectly and so beautifully, I couldn't give this award to anybody else. One of the things I really loved about Insomniacs After School is how they just let scenes breathe. It didn't need to be heavy dialogue every single scene if it was just a picturesque background they let the scenes breathe and it drew me in way more than a lot of other slice of life romance that i've seen in the past if you're looking for just a beautiful well-written slice of life romance with realistic characters and scenarios then you need to check out insomniacs after school next up there was also a lot of sci-fi shows that came out this season so we have the best sci-fi dr stone season three gundam witch from mercury season two Heavenly Delusion, and a couple of other shows came out this season, but the one that stood far and above everything else for me, Heavenly Delusion. I love this show, okay? I love this show. Just so all of you out there know that, Heavenly Delusion was amazing from start to finish for me. It's not a perfect show by any means, but... This show was really, really damn good. The adventure, the mystery, the sci-fi elements, the drama. It had everything that I love to see in a dystopian story. If you're a fan of that mystery of the promised Neverland where there's clearly something else going on in the background that we don't know about, then this is the perfect show for you. Production IG absolutely knocked it out of the park with the animation. Every scene was super crisp and super clean. I wish we had more episodes, but I did hear it was greenlit for a season two, which I'm super excited for because I really think this show could go down as an all-timer. Now listen, as much as I love this show, it was not easy for me to choose it over Dr. Stone season three or Witch from Mercury season two. Dr. Stone season three got back to what I loved about Dr. Stone season one, so I was super locked into that one and Gundam Witch from Mercury season two started right where season one left off and that show incredible even though I didn't like season two as much as season one but again the winner of the best sci-fi anime of the season is Heavenly Delusion. Next up we have the best action series of spring 2023. Now pretty much almost any anime that has some sort of adventure involved in it has some action also in there. There are actually a couple more shows than I thought that would be included in this category. With that being said, and this will probably come as no surprise to a lot of you, my choice for the best action series of spring 2023 is Hell's Paradise. You Y'all want to talk about some clean animation and people just getting pieced up out there? Man, Hell's Paradise came out there and said, yo, anybody can get it in any episode at any moment. They did not hold back at all with these action scenes and the gore and everything involved in them. I know there were a lot of people out there that were kind of disappointed in what MAPPA did with Hell's Paradise, but I actually really enjoyed it. I do think people had really high expectations, maybe a little bit too high, expecting something that would rival Jujutsu Kaisen or even Chainsaw Man. But I think the animation of Hell's Paradise was awesome, and I think the action sequences flowed really well. I'm super excited to get into a season two of Hell's Paradise, and I can't wait to see how this world unfolds. Next up, we have the best drama series of spring 2023. Now, when it comes to something being categorized as drama, that can literally almost be anything. Slice of life, romance, action, adventure. Drama is involved in every single one of these scenarios but some shows just do drama better than others and the show that did it better than the others this season was Oshinoko. Now I will say I think Oshinoko gets a little bit of a boost because of that hour or hour and a half or however long that special was that they had for the first episode but even without that the show was just phenomenal throughout the season. I knew nothing about Oshinoko going into it, and I'm so happy I went into it blind because watching each episode was like watching some sort of cinematic masterpiece going on with the different characters involved, the different storylines, and everything that's going on in the background. Now, I did hear there's a little bit of craziness going on in the Oshinoko manga right now, but we're going to ignore that. That doesn't apply here. I haven't seen a show do what Oshinoko did, I've never seen a show touch on the world of idols like that, touch on the world of the entertainment business in Japan like that, and I feel like I've actually learned a lot of things just reading up on message boards and whatnot, and how each episode portrays something that is very real that happens in the world of entertainment. Once again, I know nothing beyond this first season of Oshinoko, but I feel like we only just scratched the surface, so I'm super excited for more. 
Now I have two shows for honorable mentions. These shows are not the shows that I thought were the second and third best, but shows that I think fit in a bunch of different categories, but weren't strong enough in those categories to win the award. The first one for me being Skip and Loafer. This show is just a happy show. Just puts me in a good mood. I watch it and I'm instantly happy. Every character on that show puts a smile on my face and I loved watching that show from start to finish. I'm about to start the manga because I can't wait for season two to come out. So if you have not seen Skip and Loafer and you're a fan of Slice of Life, I need you to watch Skip and Loafer. I promise you, you're gonna fall in love with it. You're gonna fall in love with the characters and you're really gonna enjoy that show. My second one, and this one might be a little controversial, because I know uh, there's a lot of people out there that feel some type of way about this show for whatever reason, is The Dangers in My Heart. This show is actually really good. Do not, I please, we're, we're gonna have a moment. Do not let the synopsis fool you. Do not let the synopsis push you away. Do not be scared from the first five or 10 minutes of episode one. This show was actually so well done and so well written, please give it a chance. Please like give it an honest, fair chance. If it's not for you, it's not for you and I totally get that, but I think this show is worth every second that you put into it. It had romance, it had comedy, it had drama. It was just a really nice show to watch. I'm excited for more. I think we're gonna get another season of it, but The Danger's In My Heart, it's streaming on High Dive. Please check it out. And we are finally here for the big moment. Drum roll, please. The best overall anime of the season. What do you think it is? What 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 do you think it is? I'll give you five, five seconds. Four, four three, 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 two, one. one. The best overall anime of the season, Heavenly Delusion. You probably guessed it because of how much I raved about the show, how much I said I loved it, but Heavenly Delusion was just different. Something about it was different. Watching it every week, I was so captivated by each and every episode, each character that we met, each new storyline that got added in. It didn't feel like they were just trying to fill time or do anything like that. It all just felt different. And that's why I had to give it the best overall anime of the spring 2023 season. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for another video. Stay tuned as I will be dropping my first impressions of the summer 2023 season very shortly, as long as I get some time in my busy ass schedule to do that. But until next time, much love as always, and I'll see you guys soon.